gold I'm walking in new shoes and righteous road There's a lot to live, but you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the new Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and this is the program where we talk about good news. That's right. And I'm sure you're ready to hear some good news. Jesus is still on the throne and still pouring out his love and his grace and his peace upon this world. And all we have to do is to look towards him. All we have to do is to trust him and he wants to bless you. You know, that's the wonderful thing about it. God is a good God, and he wants to bless his people. That's right. He doesn't wish bad things for you, but he wishes only good things for you and your life. And that's what this program is all about. We want to share with everybody the goodness and the grace of our wonderful Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I encourage you to get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors, and tell them the Good News program is coming on right now. I want to share a uh, song in just a few seconds with you entitled, Let Me Paint You a Picture. This is a song the Lord gave me a few years back, and a, a good friend of mine uh, uh, Jim Collins, he is a wonderful painter. I mean, he, he just paints all kind of good pictures. And we was in a discussion one day about the different gifts that God has given us. And he said, I sure wish I could write songs like you. And I said, I sure wish I could paint like you. <laughs> and so I asked him one day, you know, to paint me a, a special painting. And he painted me a beautiful painting of Jesus on the cross. And it just uh, depicted what Jesus did for us at Calvary when he shed his blood, when he gave his life so that we could be forgiven of all of our sins. And it came to me that uh, one picture is worth a thousand words. And uh, then I wrote this song. So I want you to enjoy this song in a few minutes and uh, enjoy this teaching segment today as well. I'm going to be concluding what I've been sharing with you about our identity in Christ. It's very important how you see yourselves. Listen very carefully. If you see yourselves like you were in the past, if you see yourself in the old life, then you're going to be living a defeated life. But you need to see yourself in Christ. The Apostle Paul used this phrase many times, in Christ, in Christ, and also through Christ. We need to, to be established in our identity in Christ. And so enjoy this teaching today. Enjoy this song, and then I'll be back right after that to say a special prayer for you and your family. Stay tuned now. Of the blue skies and the grandeur of the trees all these things he's made oh they're easy to see but what he's done inside oh it's hard to explain so I'll pay a picture of what he's done for me. Let me paint you a picture of what he's done for me. He took my guilt and sin, then he cast it in the sea. Oh, I hope that you can see when I paint. 
Jesus and of his saving grace how he died upon a cross how he came to take our place but the words are few and hard to find to tell you what I mean so I'll paint you a picture of what he's done for me let me paint you a picture of what he's done for me shades of red and purple with blues and of green oh i'll paint with loving care his salvation plan to share let me paint you a picture of what he's done for me Next thing you need to know about your identity is the fact that you are a child of God. Somebody say it with me. I am a child of God. 1 John 3, 1, we should be called children of God, and so we are. Galatians 3, 26, for in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. Now, that may sound elementary, but there's only two families in the world. The family of God and the family of the devil. You're in one or the other. Amen? I know that because Jesus told the Pharisees, you are of your father the devil, and they got mad. I reckon what they, what they get mad for. He was just telling them the truth. I know your father, he the devil. And they didn't like to hear that. See, some folks don't want to hear the truth. If you are a Christian, you are in the family of God. You've got there, and the Scripture says here, by adoption. That's one way. Ephesians 2.19, Now therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Now that's not talking about the New Orleans saints either. Amen. See, there's the saints and the ain'ts. You're either a saint or you're an ain't. Amen. But we're fellow citizens with the saints and the members of the household of God. The Bible says in Romans 8, 16, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Bible says that we have been accepted into his family by adoption. Romans 8, 15 tells us that, and we have also been brought into his family through the new birth. Jesus told Nicodemus, Nick, you got to be born again, son. There's no other way to get into my kingdom. You've got to be born again. That means to be born of God, born of the Spirit, 
Amen. It's not about turning over a new leaf. It's about receiving the forgiveness and life of God that brings us the new birth. You see, God, who we talked about earlier, is Elohim, a creator. He's creator to everybody, but is only Jehovah, which is covenant God, to his children. Amen. If you are his child, you have a covenant with him. Now think of this. Perhaps you didn't have an earthly father that was there for you, but know this, you have a heavenly father that will never leave you and will never forsake you. And he has everything you need. He has grace and mercy and peace and healing and everything that you need. When you accepted him as your father, he assumed the responsibility to provide for you and to care for you forever. That's a loving father right there. Matthew 6, says that you can seek first his kingdom and righteousness and all the things you need will be added unto you. That's a provider. That's a God of love and care. And as a family member, you have an inheritance. I said you have an inheritance in this life and in the life to come. Your covenant benefits because, like I said, you have a covenant. And your covenant has benefits, and they include acceptance into the family, a new nature, a full pardon, supernatural rest and peace, Protection and provision, healing and health. And that's just some of them. Provisions of your covenant. Because you are a child of God, you have an inheritance in Christ. You are his child. You are, the scripture says, a son of God. And that means daughters too. But that's the way the scripture phrases it. We are sons of God. We're his children, made in his image. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to mention these others. Next week, I'll talk about these, that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. He clothed you with his righteousness. You are a new creation in Christ. You're not an old sinner saved by grace. You were saved by his grace and you become a new creature clothed in his righteousness. We're going to talk about that. You are accepted in the beloved. We'll talk about that. You are a person of purpose. That's your new image. That's your new identity in Christ. I have a brand new purpose as a child of God. I've been accepted in the beloved. I am a new creation. And I'm sure you received a handout before you came into the sanctuary. They have, I have a list on that piece of paper that tells you a lot of these things that I'm talking about now, who you are in Christ. And I encourage you to bring these handouts home with you and study them yourself. Get your Bible and look them up in your own Bible and study them yourself and you'll see your new identity. You'll see who God says you are as his child. Amen? Because he doesn't see you like you were in the past. He sees you as a brand new creature in Christ. Amen? With a new life and a new purpose. Amen? And as you see that, as you recognize that, you will uh, be able to experience greater victory, greater confidence, and greater boldness, and you'll want to do more for the Lord. You'll be saying, Lord, I want to do more for you. I want to help others. Can you say amen? Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching segment talking about our identity in Christ it is very important to know our identity in Christ and live according to that. We don't live according to the old life, but we live according to our brand new life. When you're born again, the Bible says you become a new creature in Christ Jesus. 
The Bible teaches that we are an overcomer because we are in Christ. That's right. Many, many, many things about being in Christ. That's our victory to know who we are in Christ. And so if you would like to get this teaching in its entirety, I'll make it available to you on CD or, or DVD uh, simply for the price of postage. And uh, so I guess that's what you'd call free. But all you have to do is pay the postage. And so if you'd like to get this uh, teaching in its entirety, all you got to do is call me and let me know, and I'll be glad to get it in your hands. This will help you walk in confidence and walk in victory to know who you are in Christ. And, of course, the first step is, is to be a child of God, to be in the family. And uh, perhaps someone is watching today. You've never made that important step to say yes to Jesus and no to your own way. You know, the Bible tells us that Jesus has already done everything necessary for us to get into his family, but we've got to believe it in our heart. Believe what? Believe Jesus went to the cross on your behalf. Believe that he shed his blood as payment for your sin debt. And when you trust in that, the Bible says that you become born again and you are entered into the family of God. So if God's been dealing with you about this, you can pray with me right now. Let's do that right now. Say, dear God in heaven, that's right, pray with me. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that he died on the cross as payment for my sin debt. And he is alive now and forevermore. And I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. And I choose to turn from sin in my own way. I choose to trust you now for a brand new future. I receive forgiveness of my sin. I receive pardon and eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my heart and my life. I commit my life to you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, I want you to know that you are now a born-again child of God. Yes, now it's time to begin to learn about your Heavenly Father, learn about Jesus and all the benefits that He has available. But you don't have to know all those things to get in the family. It's simply faith in Jesus and what he has done for you. See, it's faith without works. That's what gets you into the family. But now you learn more about it, and I want to help you do that by sending you this free little gift. It's a little book entitled The New Birth, and it tells you what it means to be saved, what it means to be born again, and it tells you some of the benefits available to you as a Christian. You can call me right now for your free copy, 888-429-2280. That's a free call, 888-429-2280. And just ask for the little book entitled The New Birth. Say, I prayed with Brother Mike to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. Or if you just came back to the Lord, perhaps you've you what we call backslid. You left the Lord for a while, and you, you grew cold, and you're coming back to the Lord. Well, I want you to send for it as well, 888-429-2280. Call us right now. If you get a busy signal, keep calling back, and because we want to get this into your hands. All I need your address, and I'll send it to you, as well as some other literature to help you get started growing in the Lord. Don't forget about our next concert coming up January the 6th. This will be a brand new concert for the brand new year. January the 6th, once again, 2023. And uh, our good friends Ron and Kyle Smith and the Grace Baptist Church Singers will be with us. And uh, they are truly a blessing in the Lord. And you don't want to miss this concert. Go on our website for more information at mvmgoodnews.com. And then I want to mention our church services we have here every Sunday morning at 1030. If you're in our local area and you don't have a home church, I want to invite you to come out and visit with us. And uh, I lead in, lead in uh, praise and worship and then share a message. 
uh, from the Bible that will be sure to bless and encourage you. I always make sure that I equip the folks with a good message. And it's not just about feel good, but it's about equipping. It's about informing, but also about encouraging. And so if you enjoy the presence of the Lord, uh, consider coming out and at least visiting with us. Any Sunday morning at 1030 a.m., we have a map on our website. If you've never been here, it tells you just how to get here, mvmgoodnews.com. That's mvmgoodnews.com. Now, Christmas is only a few weeks away, and you're wondering what to get for gifts. Well, one of the best gifts to get is gospel music. That's right. Be a blessing to others. Share the gospel through song. And we made all of our CDs available for 50% off. And we're doing this until December 25th. And so be sure and call us. And uh, that means that instead of the usual $15 each, uh, that's what you see on our product list. They're $7.50 each, and the DVDs are $10 instead of the usual $20. But you want to be sure and at least get your Christmas CD so you can have the sounds of the season. You want to be able to play all the good Christmas songs, and we have them right here, Silent Night, Go Tell It on the Mountain, the Christmas Guest, and uh, most of your traditional Christmas songs right here, 10 of them for your listening enjoyment. So call us right now for this limited time offer, 888-429-2280. Once again, 888-429-2280. And if you get that busy signal, please keep calling back or just jot the number down and call back later. You want to get in on this special offer, once again, that ends December the 25th. Now, I never like to close the program without saying a special prayer for you and your family, especially if you're going through a difficult time. I want to remind you that God loves you and God cares. He can make a way where there seems to be no way. Just look to Him and He can help you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I just ask you to touch my friends and neighbors right now, especially those going through a difficult time. Heal those that are sick. Strengthen the weak. Set every captive free by your power and anointing. Lord, I trust you for miracles right now. Make yourself real to my friends and neighbors right now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. I trust the Lord is touching you right now, whatever you need in your life. And I want to say a special thanks to our partners, those that make this outreach ministry possible. Thank you, partners, for praying for us. Thank you for giving financially. We could not do this outreach without your generosity and without your faithfulness. If others are watching today and you hadn't become a good news partner, please simply pray about it. And I know the Lord will do what, you, uh, what he tells you to do. If you need more information about partnership, just go on our website or give us a call and we can send you a free brochure what it means to be a partner. God has called us to bring the gospel to the nations. I know we can't do it all, but we simply want to do our part. And I want to thank you in advance for helping us. Well, I'm going to leave you with a song now. I trust this will bless your heart. I was there when it happened, so I guess I ought to know. I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you. Sing along with you. There are some people that say we cannot tell whether we are saved or whether all is well. They say we only can hope and trust that it is so. But I was there when it happened, so I guess I ought to know. Well, I know when Jesus saved me, saved my soul. the very moment he forgave me, made me well, it took my heavy burdens and he gave me peace within. Satan can't make me doubt it. I won't doubt it's it. real and I'm gonna shout it. I'm gonna shout it. I was there when it happened, so I guess I Don't care who tells me 
Depression is not real Though the world may argue That we cannot feel The heavy burdens lifted And the vile sin go But I was there when it happened So I guess I ought to know Well, I know when Jesus saved me The very moment he forgave me Well, he took my heavy burdens And he gave me peace within Satan can't make me doubt it I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. Or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com. And our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. There's a lot to live, but you got to choose. Well, I used to be singing the blue, but now I'm singing the new. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the new.